I'm out in front of the Last Resort Bar in Port Orange, and we're getting ready for Bike Week. I'm going to take you on a tour of the Last Resort, and I got a little surprise of what you can do here. I think you're going to like it. It's Ron Wysikarski over at Wise Home Team Realty, and we're going to take a little tour of the Last Resort. So we're in US 1 in Port Orange, and I'm going to take you out back. The last resort bar, it's got room for probably five, six hundred bikes. And we just saddle up here, get a preview. Buddy's birthday is going on this weekend, but I thought you would like to see some of the interesting things here. Our bartender was actually in the Coast Guard, worked on icebreakers. So, a lot of charm, a lot of nostalgia, and pretty cool. So there's a lot of room. So if you've got a bike and you wanna see something just a little bit different, if you haven't been here before, or maybe you're local and just never stopped in and driven past it a hundred times. Oh, there's a, your outdoor bar. Seltzers and canned beer is gonna be the order of the day outside here. And there's the bike scrap heap. Here's our little outdoor bar that we're enjoying. And got a cool car that I want you to see. There you go. And this spot here, well that might be a place you can just relax. So what you may not know about the last resort, and this is the last place where they found the serial killer. And uh, Kind of creepy, but this is the place. Well, the excitement has been about lately. So, monster, if you've ever read that or heard that, this is where it all happened. There you have it. That's where the apprehension took place. So, last resort. So, we are on another stop on the tour for my buddy Dave's birthday and if you're not familiar with this place the Tiernanog well it is this is an Irish bar that is right on International Speedway we are just about at the world's most famous beach where the iconic sign is so you may have driven past this and never stopped in but if you're looking for um, some Guinness some Harpers just something fun this is a nice bar to stop into. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're on the dive bar tour, but you know, it's a cool place. And I'm going to flip it around and show you just how close we are to Daytona Beach. So we are literally two blocks, maybe a block and a half from the iconic Daytona Beach sign. And we're at Chinonog right now. And you can see that we are that close to the ocean. So if you're thinking of going into a local bar, whether it's bike week or some other time, this is definitely something on my top five of places that if you've never been, you need to stop in and take in some of the nostalgia. Tiernanai. Check it out. That's the bridge coming over from the mainland. That's the traffic. And this is a pretty cool place. It's a little dark in here right now, but I'm going to open up the door and let you take a look. Rock and roll. So, another stop in our uh, dive bar tour. Tiernanog, just a block and a half from Daytona Beach. Another stop that you may not have thought about as we head into Bike Week. This is Ron Weissakarski at Wise Home Team Realty. Go Bills!